Tonight, the Spokane City Council could end a six-year battle between the city and the family of Otto Zem. Zem died in 2006 after a confrontation with police at a convenience store. The Zem family sued the city for $14.5 million, and last week the two sides came to an agreement that requires the city to pay $1.6 million and formally apologize. KXY Force Colleen O'Brien joins us live from City Hall tonight. Colleen, any concern that the council won't approve this settlement? It doesn't seem like it, Mike. I spoke with both Councilman John Snyder and Councilwoman Nancy McLaughlin. Both expressed that they want to get this vote done with, get it uh, over with, and move on and learn from what happened after these last six years. So we're expecting a speedy vote tonight. Councilman Snyder says, uh, again, a speedy vote. Not much public testimony is expected, and it's not known if the council members will even speak on the issue because they want to get to that vote. He also hinted at the fact that all members are expected to approve this settlement. McLaughlin echoed the same sentiment that this is a chapter in the city's history they want to put to rest, move on, and learn from. I know it's the only sitting elected in the city that was here six years ago. I'm grateful that this day has come. I'm anxious to push my green button for yes and approval. It's, um, I'm happy for the Zim family, for them hopefully finding some closure. I'm anxious to approve the settlement. Um, from what we're hearing, it's a, a settlement that's uh, to the satisfaction of all parties involved. The settlement includes a $1.67 million payout to the Zem family. The city must also apologize to the Zem family, name a pavilion in Otto Zem's name, and put our city's police officers through special training to deal with individuals with mental health issues. Again, this is expected to be a pretty quick meeting tonight, not to mention a quick vote on this issue. Uh, we will be there live at 6 o'clock for the council meeting tonight. I will be tweeting it live so you can follow along. You can follow me at Colleen O'KXLY. Reporting live from City Hall, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY. For HD News.